guys, hope you're all doing well, staying safe out there. But I'm Lily here with another pick a card reading. There's so many changes going on in the world right now, and I was very drawn to do a pick a card reading on the subject of what's about to change forever in your life. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at today's options. Option number one, you guys get the Moonstone Crystal. Option number two. You guys get the star stone. And option number three, turquoise wants to be a crystal today. So see which crystal you're most drawn to. Don't overthink it. If you're doing a bit more time, you know the drill. Pause the video. Because so we're going to go ahead and get started with option number one. Option number one, and welcome to your reading. If you were drawn to the moonstone over here. Let's take a look at what's about to change forever for you, my darlings. And never be the same again. Could be anything. Could be love. It could be career. Could be something to do with your spiritual journey. But it is going to change forever. That's for sure. Loads of changes going on in the world right now. Loads of readjustments. Let's find out. Option number one with the moonstone. Mm-hmm. This is such an interesting energy. It looks like you guys, option number one, you're stepping into your feminine, you're stepping into your intuition. And what's going to change forever is the way that you see your value and the way that you earn money. There's something about you moving out of space of just using your head for like earning the money and just, I don't know, it's, it's a combination where you couldn't balance your masculine and feminine energies. You couldn't balance uh, being sort of in a masculine in the world and sort of going out to get what it is you what it is that's yours and being able to receive it. Let me rephrase that because it's I think like it's kind of been chaotic and that's why I can't phrase it. Because you guys, you, you kind of had this idea that to earn money, you have to be only in your masculine energy, in the energy of, you know, putting yourself out there and having to be victorious and having to be competitive and having to, uh, you know, like sort of push through a lot of things rather than learning how to be receptive, learning how to maybe create um, an income that's more passive. Okay, and it had a lot to do with, with you guys, the way that you see your worth. And here with financial constraints coming through in reverse, they're telling me that the reason why you might have had those financial constraints is because of the way that you saw yourself, the way that you saw your worth, and the way that you went about getting money, getting abundance. So now what's about to change for you, my darlings, is the way that you see your worth, the way that you work with the energy, with the masculine and feminine energy, with the way that you create the balance, okay? So they're telling me it's kind of, it's going to shift. It's going to shift. So maybe you were always in the yang energy. Maybe you were always in the sun energy. Maybe you were always in the masculine energy. And I do feel a lot of ladies over here that had to go into the masculine energy. And had to neglect their feminine, uh, their divine feminine, had to say goodbye to her. And then you kind of, you kind of forgot what it feels like to, I don't know, to have this intuitive energy with you. And they're telling me here that's about to change. So it's about you getting your money, you getting your abundance through creating a beautiful balance and for a lot of you, healing your divine feminine. Let me take a look at why it was wounded in the first place. I want to see why it was wounded in the first place for you, option number one. Mm hmm A lot of hopes. Somebody, um, somebody like gave you a lot of hopes and then took it away with a page of blades. 
there's an energy where maybe you guys were really balanced at some point. And then there's this energy of somebody who's hopeful, somebody who's open, somebody who's very, uh, maybe sometimes a little bit naive with the Knight of Cups. And then here, there's this energy of somebody hurting you, where you had to become like, like you had to enter this energy of masculine. Like somebody hurt you and somebody made you feel like, your desires or maybe your intuition or maybe your artistic abilities they weren't enough so you weren't like oh okay like somebody gave you this idea that the only way you can earn money and be wealthy and be abundant is by only being in the masculine but it's for a lot of you it's going against what you believe it's going against what you are and it's creating a, a huge disbalance, which might be affecting your relationships, which might be affecting um, the way that you navigate through life, because you might not be able to see where it is that you're going, see what it is that you truly want, because of you blocking those energies. Mm -hmm. And with the five of uh, blades, with the five of swords, yeah, it's, it seems like you feel like you have to compete all of the time. You have to be in this competitive energy, whether it's males or females, you feel like you're constantly in competition. And if there's nobody co to compete with uh, in the outside world, you compete with those energies within you. Does that make sense? It's like you can't find this balance between the masculine and the feminine, and it greatly affects your earning ability. Because over here, it does look like option number one, you are meant to be somebody who um, who heals their divine feminine, even if you're a guy, right? You're meant to learn how to live a different, like to have a different dynamic, relationship dynamic with yourself in the first place. And you felt like you had to fight, you felt like you had to fend for yourself, you felt like you always have to be the winner, and if you're not the winner, then that's it. Like you always have to be number one, and that puts so much strain on you, that puts so much stress on you. And you're always comparing yourself to other people. And that's not, not the best thing to do. So, you know, like a lily doesn't compare it, itself to a rose. They're both beautiful flowers. Does that make sense? A moonstone doesn't compare itself to the star stone. They're both beautiful stones, but you feel like you can only be the best and you have to be the best uh, among the people and amongst the, the crystals and, the, ro and the, the, the flowers that you are not. And that has been affecting you greatly. And what's about to change forever for you is the way that you see this whole situation. You're going to dive deep over here, my darlings, and you're going to be able to, um, they're telling me rectify, rectify this situation. Let me see how this is going to happen. The goddess of the moon wanted to come out. Okay. Uh, And she did, because when she wants to come out, she does come out. And this is what's going to happen to you, my darlings. That your goddess of the moon, your intuitive side is going to come out. Because right now you're feeling trapped. And they're telling me that it will be like there's going to be a period in your life or you guys already might be in this period where you don't see a way out. Where you only see like... Like you might be telling me that like, actually there's only one way for me to earn money and it's to be competitive and it's to be in my male energy and it's to be harsh and it's to be ready for everything and anything. And it's not for me to use my intuition, but it's for me to be like really, really focused on things and be only be in this 3D energy and so on and so forth. And here the goddess with the moon is coming through and saying like, it's not really your thing. There has to be a balance, but you are completely neglecting the energy of the intuition, completely. 
there's something within you, like your femininity, your divine feminine, it needs to be healed, it needs to be accepted. You're not giving space for intuition. And they're telling me that here, there's definitely an energy of like an awakening, if you will. And I don't mean this like, you know, this Hollywood stuff, none of that, where you start seeing codes and you see the matrix and oh no, it's nothing like that. It's more about where you see the value of yourself, the value of your intuition, the value of the artistic, soft, tender, and very vulnerable side of you, where you see its value rather than seeing that it's not letting you do something or it's standing in the way of you earning money or being successful or being seen or whatever. For a lot of you, my darlings, you're literally somebody who's meant to be very psychic and somebody who's meant to be uh, acting as a conduit, as a channel for the divine. It doesn't mean you have to be somebody who's a tarot reader or, uh, you know, somebody who, who's a medium. It doesn't mean you have to be that. But for sure, it's like you're neglecting a certain big part of, your, uh, of yourself. It's like you're trying to dig a trench without using, uh, um, see, I even forgot what it's called, a shovel. Like you're digging with your hands. And yeah, it kind of gets the job done. But I mean, look at your hands. Look at, look at how difficult it is. And here comes the energy of a shovel, of an excavator. Do you see what I'm saying? Like there's so many more efficient ways of, of mining the gold, the treasures, the diamonds of life. And using your intuition is, is one of the ways. So let's go ahead and take a look at how your life is going to change should you embrace this. Because they're telling me it, it, it's like what's, what's going to change forever is the way that you see yourself. So let's take a look at how it's going to affect your life. How you're going to feel after this. What good is bringing to you. Mm -hmm. you're gonna try to get out of this hiding right and you're finding your balance and with the cornucopia my darlings well that just talks about abundance that just talks about abundance that talks about saying goodbye to <clears throat> Uh, those financial constraints, saying goodbye to maybe a way of life that you didn't really want to live, but you always thought that this is like as far as you can go. And the universe is like, no, there's so much more for you. When it comes to abundance, when it comes to money, when it comes to loads and loads of things. So for a lot of you, I see that you guys are going to be getting contracts with companies, with people, with places that can offer you so much more. Okay? And it's going to be with you using your intuition. <clears throat> and here with the woman holding a heart coming through in reverse, it's finally you getting out of the energy of having to pretend that you're not hurting, of having to pretend that you're not rejecting a very important part of you. Mm -hmm. It's this energy where you're going to realize that the, the hostile approach or the approach of constant competition or the approach of constantly having to fight with somebody, it just gives you the energy of a broken heart and nothing else. Because ultimately you're fighting within your, with yourself. Some of you might be meeting somebody over here, by the way, guys. I mean, romantically. Romantically. Yeah? But it's the way, the, the, the way that you change the way that you think. Let's take a look at the advice that your spiritual team has for you when it comes to what's about to change your life forever. What's about to change forever. 
What is it that your spiritual team wants you to know? To sum up this reading. Mm -hmm. And I was talking about awakening. And here comes your awakening. And I mean, look at how similar these colors are. The blue flame, spontaneous awakening, activation, integration time. So they're saying, yeah, it's it's time for something within you, something within your DNA to get activated over here. Now, um, I always say I like to keep my readings very down to earth and very grounded. But I do feel that a lot of you guys, you do have psychic abilities. You do have the magic within you, but you continually, mm, continuously reject it. Yeah. Or you downplay it and, and you you are meant to embrace it. And it does look like there is going to be that spontaneous awakening that I was talking about. But it's nothing to be afraid of. It's something to really celebrate. They're saying let that flame burn. Let that flame burn brightly. It's time for you to become activated. It's time for a lot of your gifts to become activated. So heal that divine feminine within you. It's so going to be worth it. And um, I remember, yeah, just recently I did uh, this uh, very interesting reading on my Patreon about why you might be suppressing your femininity, your sensuality, your sexuality. So it might help you guys out a little bit. So if you haven't seen it yet, check it out on my Patreon page. All right, my darlings, claim the energy of this reading down in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe, you know the drill. For personal reads, do send me an email. The email is in the description box below. So it's the link to my Patreon page. So, um, yeah. Take care of your amazing selves now. Bye. Option number two. If you were drawn to the star stone over here, welcome to your reading. The camera doesn't do this crystal justice. It's, uh, it's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. All right, guys. Get comfy. Let's go ahead and get started. We're going to be finding out what's about to change forever. For you guys, option number two. Could be something to do with your love life. It could be career. It could be about your spiritual path. Anything that comes through in this channeling session. Let's find out. Option number two. What's about to change forever for you? Oof, powerful. Magician. Magician in the mirror. Okay, so when we're talking about magician, guys, we're talking about uh, activating your powers. Activating your powers. Um, there's definitely an energy of you believing more in yourself. So what I'm seeing over here, guys, is a lot of you, you doubt your abilities, you downplay your abilities. You've kind of been feeling a little bit hopeless and maybe there's definitely an energy of realizing a lot of things are outside of your control and you guys might be somebody who likes to control things it's like one of the coping mechanisms that you guys might have but the magician in the mirror is definitely an energy of you seeing yourself differently of you realizing how much you've already gone through and how much you've already achieved so it's this energy of going from the student to the master okay it's leveling up. It's graduation. It has a lot to do with your spirituality. It has a lot to do with your mental state. Okay. And they're telling me that you guys have been doing a lot of healing. And this healing has been very difficult at times. And it's been almost unbearable. And I feel a lot of you, they're literally showing me this, um, this vision where, you know, like at the end of a very, very long marathon where you, ju you just can't, like you see the finish line, or you might not even see the finish line, but it's around the corner. And this is where like your legs start cramping up. And this is where you can't breathe. And, and, and like everything seems to like <laughs> be for nothing. And, and here there's definitely an energy of you're about to pass that finish line. Okay. And it's not even about the, you know, whether you're going to come first or second or third. It's about all of the things that you learned. And, and here you're going to see yourself from a very, very different perspective. And that is going to affect all parts of your life. 
It's not only going to affect your love life, but it's going to affect your career, the way that people see you and the way that you see you yourself and the like the what is that you expect out of life, expect out of people around you, expect out of circumstances around you. So there's definitely an energy of you guys leveling up and passing a very difficult and very demanding exam, a very demanding test, like passing it with, with flying colors. You're going to see yourself differently in the mirror. There's definitely that energy. It could be the way that you appreciate your body. I feel for a lot of you guys, it could be about the way that you appreciate your body and all that it's been doing for you. So instead of looking at it like as being imperfect or being too too thin or too big or too tall or too short or too whatever, you're going to realize that this is something that's so beautiful and so sacred and has been keeping you alive and has been able to, uh, you know, thanks to your boat, you've been able to experience lots of things in life. And there's definitely an energy of gratitude that's kind of turning on, like they're showing me like a dial where you and your personal brand of magic, where you are like being able to move forwards. There's definitely an energy of leveling up, of stepping up over here. Mm -hmm. For a lot of you, you guys are very good at singing. You guys are very good when it comes to um, communication. However, this is something that's been blocked. And I feel that one of the reasons why it's been blocked, I mean, I'm going to check on my shadow tarot deck in a sec, but it does look like, you know, when, um, when somebody made us feel very unloved and very... When, when like what we what we have to say doesn't really matter and you know this is usually when like teachers might say it to students like you know uh, what is it that you know like I'm the teacher or it could be that parents did that to you or it could be that you know somebody um, I don't know somebody just bullied you into believing that what you have to say doesn't matter so what's about to change forever is the way that you see your worth your value the way that you see what you're capable of and you speak up. For some of you, my darlings, you have a lot to do with music. You have a lot to do with public speaking, singing. Uh, maybe you're having your own YouTube channel. Maybe you becoming a broadcaster or somebody who does voiceovers. Maybe you're somebody who's going to be standing up for a particular um, cause that's very important to your heart. But there's definitely something about you Leveling up. Let me see why the throat chakra is blocked. They're telling me a lot of your wishes they didn't come true or you felt like you never could talk about your wishes because somebody always like you felt like somebody always had to come first mm -hmm. you're regretting something there was a time where you haven't spoken up for something and it kind of created this block. You haven't spoken up for something or you had to keep something quiet when you were little. It could even sometimes be when you see somebody cheating on somebody and you're unable to say it. You're unable to say it. You know it and you're unable to say it and it creates a block for some of you. This is the block that's been created. Mm hmm You guys might be afraid of commitment over here. Yeah, you guys might be afraid of commitment. Like you're afraid that you might not take it as, as far. You, you're afraid that if you start an argument or if you start to prove a point, you might not like have all the facts or you might not be able to 
you know, win an argument. I think it might have happened very often where you kind of start defending yourself, but other people, they either use something to manipulate you or they like they outsmarted outmarted you or like you know and it was in public and you kind of felt okay you know what i'm never gonna do this again because you kind of felt shame and um yeah but now that's changing i feel like you guys literally telling somebody to to like shut up and listen like i feel like you guys are literally leveling up so if somebody has been giving you a lot of trouble and you kind of been taking it or you felt like you couldn't say something back here that's changing and it's not just with the one person i think it's with with everybody like you're choosing to be authentic to yourself you're choosing to speak the truth and sometimes you need to be harsh with people sometimes you need to raise your voice a little bit so that people understand you like you you're standing up for yourself over here option number two Let me see how those changes are going to take place. Mm -hmm. Speaking the truth, it's um, they're saying it's it's something that's gonna come. It's something that's gonna come naturally. It's something that's gonna come. It's like an impulse with the Ace of Swords over here, and they're saying like if you don't hold yourself back, then uh, you're gonna be able to to speak up. You're gonna be able to free yourself. From like this, like they're showing you almost like a chain around your neck. But very similar to option number two, uh, and option number one, you guys don't see your worth, but you also don't see your worth and value in relationships. Mm-hmm. And that looks like it's about to change forever for you guys because you're going to be using your throat chakra. You're going to be standing up for yourself. You're going to be able to voice your concerns, to voice your opinions and to, uh, you know, if somebody's been giving you like rubbish when it comes to your body, you're standing up for your body. You're falling in love with yourself. You're falling in love with the way that you look and you're never going to let anybody tell you anything. Like people are still going to try, don't get me wrong. There's some people that are wicked out there, but you, it's its like, you know, you're standing up and it doesn't get to you anymore. It really doesn't get to you anymore. So let me see how it's going to affect your life then. How will it affect your life? So your chakras are becoming more aligned over here for sure, right? You're able to stand up for yourself. You're able to like tell people to piss off. You're able to negotiate things. You're able to do a lot of things just with the sound of your voice, just with, with you talking. You're becoming more aware of how maybe you being dissatisfied with your body has been blocking a lot of pleasures. A lot of sexuality is coming through that's being blocked over here, that's being released. For you, lovely option number two. And the storm warning, they're telling me it's like the worst is over. There's definitely an energy of getting out of the energy of fear or feeling like the world is a hostile place. Yeah, the world is not an easy place for sure. Like we're not going to create a Disney movie out of it, but... If we do, it's definitely not going to be for the children. Uh, but it's this energy of you being safe, even when things are feeling safe, when things are going around. Like with all of the things that are happening, you're still finding the courage and the ability to speak up for yourself. But here they're telling me the worst is over. The worst is over. Let's take a look at the advice that your spiritual team has for you with regards to the things that are going to change forever. What advice do your spiritual does your spiritual team have for you 
Yeah, this is your grip, coping mechanisms, density, addictions, let God in. So they're saying that you have been using like a certain coping mechanism for a very long time. And it could be where you keep quiet, you keep yourself unnoticeable, you stay down and you just go through life. And they're saying that right now it's time to let it go, okay? With loosening your grip, with maybe you guys have been trying to control everything and control how people react and control how you react. And they're saying like, well, you need to, like sometimes you need to assert yourself. You need to assert your position. Sometimes you need to defend yourself, defend your body, defend your right to speak the truth. Because you, again, you don't see your value, but you have a lot of value. It doesn't matter how old you are, where you've been born, how much money is in your bank account, what you learned or what you didn't learn. And they're saying that you've become maybe too addicted to the way that you cope with things. And they're saying it's time for you to let go of this addiction because there are different ways of doing things. So loosen your grip. And they're saying let God in. Let your internal beautiful God energy come through and shine and be your guide over here. Oh, and by the way, they're telling me that you, you're very protected by the angels. Very protected by the angel. You're safe. You're safe, secure, and protected. All right, lovely option number two. Don't forget to claim the magic of this reading down in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe, hit that notification button. You know the drill. Uh, if you guys are up for a personal reading, send me an email. The email is in the description box below. So the link to my Patreon page with exclusive contents, additional discounts, and much, much more. Make sure to check it out. You'll find a lot of interesting stuff there that you won't find anywhere else. So yeah, take care of your amazing selves now, guys. Bye. Option number three. Hi, and welcome to your reading, my darlings. If you were drawn to the turquoise stone over here, Let's go ahead and find out what's about to change forever for you, my darlings. Option number three. Could be love, could be spirituality, could be career, wealth, all sorts of things. I'm just going to go with the flow over here and see. All right, option number three. What's about to change forever? Oof, oof. Okay, if you could see, it just went sort of like whew, gold dust. <laughs> you guys are about to get a win, okay? I hear that a lot of you, you have been, oh my gosh, it's it's been hard. Option number three, it's been hard, hasn't it? There's an energy where like every little victory you had, it, it was either taken away or you felt like it just wasn't enough, like there was a bigger one, a bigger one, a bigger obstacle, a bigger obstacle. And you're like, oh my God, it's like a climbing a never ending mountain. Or you know those like climb those stairs machine in the, in the, in the gym where you just keep climbing and climbing and it just keeps repeating and repeating. That's what it felt like. But here, oh my gosh, guys, here is the energy of a well-deserved Victory. Let's take a look at victory and what. Because this is so profound. This is so deep. This is so powerful. This is where you honestly see the worth and the value of, of everything that you've been through. Where it kind of starts to make sense. Where you're no longer questioning why the hell did I have to go through all of this? Why did I have to lose so much? Why did I have to be alone for so long? Why did I have to struggle for so long? It's this energy of you. I don't know. Like I keep hearing that song, that Kanye West song. Did you realize that you're a champion? Yeah. If you don't, if you don't know it, like literally, guys, I suggest you listen to it. It's it's, it's a really nice upbeat song. Yeah. And it's the energy of of you being proud of yourself and it all kind of making sense to you and from then on you're going to realize that a lot of things that happen to us they're not happening to us they're happening for us they're happening for us to be able to realize who we truly are and for us to realize where we've been sort of going wrong on our path and here it's the energy of victory all right let's go ahead and take a look at victory in what what aspect of your life Mm -hmm. 
There's something about securing what is yours, okay? The first chakra talks about our very, very basic needs, the need for safety, the need for security, the need for uh, food, shelter, things like this. And it looks like you guys are gonna, I don't know, there's definitely an energy of maybe winning a battle that has something to do with anxiety, that has something to do with constantly worrying about things, that has the energy of feeling, you know, when you constantly have to, like, you know, you look at some people and they just seem to get like things very easily or like they have to work even like twice as hard as you and, and, and you're working and working and working and, and going through things and learning lessons and you're like, what the hell is going on? And here there's an energy of you winning, of, of you becoming such, a, I don't know, I don't, it's this energy of like becoming a bigger person. Does that make sense? Without it like being, like without it sounding narcissistic or anything like this, but it's this energy of becoming a bigger person and realizing you want something. You want yourself. You, it's like this energy of, of I don't know, Gosh, it's, it's very powerful. It's so powerful. It's almost like it takes my breath away. And this is what I feel like it's going to happen to you guys. It's, it's never going to be the same again. It's going to change forever. The way that you see yourself. The way that you see what you can do. What, like, you know, it's like you, you're a diamond that never cracked under pressure. You're a piece of coal. You thought you were a piece of coal, but the pressure was put on you. And it created a beautiful diamond. Lots of healing. Look at this. So if I don't like doing like health readings, but sometimes it comes through and I do say it. If you guys have been battling some sort of illness, they're telling me that you guys are going to be healed. And for a lot of you, I see that, you know, it might have something to do with the way that you've been coping with things, the way that you had to deal with things. There's definitely something that's being healed over here. Victory. If you guys have, like are currently uh, maybe battling with, with uh, a certain illness or if you're not feeling well or if you're not feeling secure, they're telling me that there's a lot of healing that's coming through over here. Like Obviously, it doesn't mean that you don't need to get any other help that you need to get. You know what I'm saying, guys? Like, be discerning. Be smart, yeah? But... From the energetic point of view, there's definitely an energy of healing. Healing something that had to do with your body. Let me see, um, let's see if I can find out what it was. I want to see. It's like they're showing like a break. Like there was a break in something. What exactly is going to be healed? Show me exactly the victory. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it has a lot to do, guys, with you, uh, with your mental state. A lot to do with your mental state. A lot to do with overcoming fears. Yeah? Because the moon is all about our fears. It's all about our subconscious. And especially in this particular deck, in the shadow deck, um, the moon talks very much about things not being what they are. Not being what they are at all. Mm-hmm. Oof, oof. Oh my gosh. You guys are powerful. Look at this. We have the devil. We have the uh, judgment that came through over here. Darlings, you are literally leveling up when it comes to the way that you see the world, the way that you see yourself, the way that you're feeling more secure. You're hearing your calling over here. So that's about to change forever. You're going to hear your calling Right? The fear that might have been stopping you, the fear of success, the fear of abundance, the fear of victory even, might have been stopping you. 
you know, this is when we have a lot of those uh, misconceptions that we have been passed on by our relatives, by our parents, that says a lot about, you know, like money is, is this and money is that and, uh, you know, you have to be humble and you have to be quiet and so on and so forth. And here, like, you're releasing a lot of fears that come with being a winner, with, that come with being seen, that come with being happy and healthy and wealthy and abundant. And enjoying life and you're hearing your calling that's going to change forever guys this is a beautiful energy of when you really hear what it is that you want to do and you're comfortable enough with yourself and your surroundings to be able to say all right this is for me this is not for me but somebody really uh, really messed you up over here when it comes to you being able to hear your calling But you have a very strong spirit, a very strong spirit, a phoenix energy of overcoming things. People have been leading you towards illusions, illusions about family life, illusions about love life. A lot of you, my darlings, option number three, you might be healing uh, very toxic relationship dynamics, very toxic relationship dynamics. And your spiritual team is bringing you towards love over here. Real love, abundance when it comes to your feelings, when it comes to mm -hmm, maybe having like a very healthy family. Healthy family, healthy when it comes to mind, body and soul. And releasing a lot of illusions over here that we're standing in the way. And the moon and, and the devil, it's wolf, you know. This is almost like somebody who, who was once a victim of a narcissistic abuse, but that went on for a very, very long time. Because this combo, it talks when, when like people manage to mind F you on a very, very deep level. And then you really have to spend a lot of time and effort and resources trying to unmess yourself up, right? But look at this victory. Victory. Let me see how it's going to be done. How the healing is going to take place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look at this. The energy of the death, the energy of transformation. Okay, it's gonna be it's gonna be a little turbulent over here, guys. Not gonna lie. Yeah, but it's the energy of questioning everything that you've been told. Questioning everything that you've been told. And realizing that there's some things that you can handle, some things that you can't handle, some things you don't even have to handle. Some battles they're not even yours. So here comes this transformation. You guys are going to say goodbye to a lot of people, to a lot of places. Uh, just because you're going to realize that, you know, you haven't been growing in the uh, fertile soil. So that's going to change forever. Because from now on, you're going to put yourself in places, in situations and with people who make you grow rather than question yourself and doubt yourself all of the time. Let's take a look at how this is going to affect your life. Now that we know what's going to change forever, let's take a look at how it's going to affect your life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very interesting. I don't know if you guys were drawn to the uh, option number two because they got the magician. This is where you become the most authentic version of yourself. This is where you have the balance of the yin and yang, of the hot and cold, of the feminine and masculine. This is where you realize who you are and you have the willpower and you have the ability to work with different energies, with different energies, with different people. You're able to manage things, manage things so much better. And there's this energy of a Midas touch, by the way, guys, where everything you touch, it starts turning to gold. Mm -hmm. A lot of you guys are meant to be somebody who is very connected to the divine. Very connected to the divine. A lot of feminine energy that's coming through over here. The seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel. 
you really be getting a lot of guidance when it comes to um, when it comes to the other realms, right? There's definitely a leveling up in your spirituality, but the root, true spirituality, the real spirituality. Mm -hmm. And there's going to be a lot of wealth. A lot of wealth, and you guys are freeing up. It's I love it how all of these readings are so connected. All of those readings are so connected because you're definitely finding your voice. Because you're stepping out of the, the comfort zone, you're stepping out of the garden and the gate over here when it comes to in reverse, you're stepping out of the comfort zone. And you get more, much more. It's like you take the risk, you take the plunge, and it pays off. It does pay off. But it's been a long, long road, guys. Let's see what your spiritual team has to say when it comes to the advice that they have for you. Mm -hmm. Or is energy protection, loyalty, safety, and trust. So they're saying you have to trust yourself, trust the process. There are a lot of spirits that are watching over you. Um, you're soon going to be meeting your soul family here with the Star Brothers. You're protected. Be loyal to who you are. And there's something about laying in the arms of the safety of the universe. You guys have a very big safety issues. They're saying you're going to feel safe. Literally, they're showing me like a stress meter and it goes way down. It goes way down. You're protected. Be loyal to your dreams. And trust that you're on the right path. On the right path to victory. It's all going to be worth it. All right, my darlings, option number three. Don't forget to claim the magic of this reading in the comments below. Helps the universe see that you're claiming this energy, that you're agreeing with this energy, that the reading resonated with you. Like, share, subscribe, you know the drill, helps the channel grow. And uh, if you guys are up for a personal read, send me an email, the email's in the description box below. So it's the link to my Patreon page, with my exclusive content, additional uh, discounts, all personal readings, and much, much more. So make sure to check it out. I'm sure you're going to find something that you will find uh, very interesting. All right, my darlings, take care of your beautiful selves now. Bye.